Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a video of a partial teardown of the M600 mid-drive by Bafang. There's been a lot of questions in regards to uh, if they do actually have metal gears inside and whether or not um, how well lubricated they are. So let's uh, see if we can pull this baby apart. Uh, as far as uh, tools are concerned, we just need some Torx, uh, torque drivers and a pair of circlet pliers and perhaps a flat screwdriver just to, uh, to uh, help leverage off some bits and pieces. Um, so first of all, we've got a bunch of screws to undo. Now, for the sake of this exercise, I've undone the majority of these screws, but starting off on the, uh, the non-drive side, there are one, two, only two screws on this side. There are three screws here, which are the uh, motor screws, but we don't need to take those off. So let's start off by undoing these screws on the non-drive side of the the motor okay so all screws are taken out on that side I obviously took some out before we started we then got one two main screws on this side which need to come out so I've taken out the first one I'll take out the second one And basically that's all we need to do as far as the that's all the screws we've got for the main casing as such so that's out however the next thing we need to do is take off the um, the cover which actually covers the uh, speed controller so there are four screws or torque screws holding this on for the sake of the exercise I've already taken out two because I'm sure you don't want to watch me undo screws for the next 10 minutes Okay, and those screws are undone, and we can now lift off what happens to be the actual heat sink for the speed controller. And the speed controller is mounted underneath that, so let's just lift that up. And uh, we can now hopefully see the plugs there. We've got um, our main uh, power wires, our three phase cables to the motor. And then a bunch of um, comms connectors to the right hand side so let's just undo those very quickly and that's it and the speed controller has now been removed from the drive it's a very nice compact unit, it's a tiny speed control, absolutely tiny, considering it's capable of seven or 800 watts. The back is the actual um, heat sink for this speed controller. So let's put that to the side. And we can see now that we've got some access into inside the motor, but we can't see any gears yet. So I've undone these two screws, and with those two screws undone, we should be able to lift off the first case, which we can. All pretty straightforward and now it exposes the other uh, final drive for this particular uh, setup so we have our um, our main shaft going through here which has got a uh, it feels like it's got a spray clutch or a one-way bearing as part of that assembly helically cut gears grease wise it's a it's a dark sort of uh, molybdenum grease i would say a large bearing here um, which supports the main shaft so a pretty nice unit as far as grease is concerned. Um, it look, it, it's pretty reasonably greased. I wouldn't say it's, it's under greased, that's for sure. So that's also a good sign. The next step is to remove this main gear. And to do that, we will need a pair of circlet pliers to do that. So using a pair of circlet pliers, just lift that out like that. And now hopefully this first gear will come off. And just work that up a little bit. And off she comes. Okay, so the final drive set of gears are off. I can feel there's also so you can see there 
the actual sprag bearing nice big sprag clutch on that I'll just leave that in there for now like that okay we'll leave that to the side And so just to confirm that these are all metal gears, magnet, definitely metal, definitely metal. Which I would expect on the final drive. I mean, that's the same as the, the BBS-02. That's certainly steel on both those drive gears. We now have a sub-assembly which we need to lift off. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six screws on this one. I've taken out most of them already. Okay, and with all those screws removed, this second assembly comes off. Now it is pinned, so you do have to be a little bit careful on how to get that off. So just, just very carefully lifting it up off its pins. You should see it come free. And there it goes. And so now by removing this assembly, we'll now expose the, the rest of the drive system. So out that comes. And there we have it, the rest of the drive system. So we can see in this section here, um, not a lot of grease in here. It could certainly, I think, do, do a little bit more grease than what we've got here. We've got our, uh, our secondary reduction gears here. Um, bearings on top of here which look to be pressed in just checking if they are metal so yes that gear is definitely metal and then this is the gear in question which would be sometimes made out of a nylon or some sort of uh, special machine plastic and that's definitely a metal gear also so confirmation the drive definitely has metal gears just looking a little bit further there is also a uh, another one-way bearing off that drive there off that gear there I should say um, so basically that really is all there is to it to carry out the process of getting to the gears on an M600 drive very easy um, really as long as you've got um, a set of torque uh, torques um, screwdrivers there's no reason why you can't pull this apart yourself and and, and grease up as required now to actually change these bearings, I can see there would be a little bit of work in doing that. You're going to need some specialized tools to remove um, the uh, the gears, I should say, because these bearings look like they're pressed on. Um, so that's not such a straightforward job, but again, not a difficult job either. Um, if you took that to any machine shop, they would be able to do that for you in, in no time at all. So if someone did want to actually go back to perhaps a plastic geared version of this to, to make it super quiet, I can't see any reason why that why that couldn't be done. So now that I've got the drive apart, and I won't do it now, but my plan will be to uh, re-grease this, uh, make sure that um, there is, there's plenty of grease, especially on the secondary um, gear system, being encapsulated inside this area here. It means that you know you it's going to maintain the grease on the gears um, pretty well, I would say. Even and you know you can put quite a bit of grease on that in that situation, not worry about it spilling out to. The rest of the drive so so that looks pretty good to me so really um, that's about all there is to it in reality it's probably about a 10 or 15 minute job to pull this drive apart or to get to the gears and maybe a 20 minute job to put it back together so nothing too daunting after all and uh, and something that i'm sure the majority um, who watch this video would be able to do themselves okay i hope that's of help thank you very much for watching